welcome to the paper snob this is tara today i'm working on scrap lift crafter noon with my group of friends we all do a scrap lift of one layout that one of us has chosen for the week and we all scrap lift it sometimes we do the exact scrap lift sometimes we do our own thing sometimes it's a good mix of the two I chose this layout from my friend and fellow YouTube creator, Michelle. I will have her account linked for you below so that you can check out some of her videos and see what she's doing. This is a really cute layout of her with her puppy. And I'm going to be using photos of me with my Jasper kitty when he was a kitten. This is right after we got him. So he's a little bitty guy here. And this little bitty guy apparently thinks I'm his mama. So he comes to me when he's upset. And if the kids are over loving him, which happens all the time, he runs to me. So I'm the mama. I also have pulled out my Simple Stories Happy Heart collection. Um, and then a random sheet of... Um, I don't know what collection these came from, but a friend of mine, Kimberly, sent me these. And it has just a random word cat on there, which I know that's why she sent it to me. But I want to use that on here somewhere, although it doesn't really go with this collection. I want to use that. Um, maybe I'll use the hearts, too. We'll see. Um, there's no red in this collection. I really thought I was going to be using Sweet Talk by Simple Stories. Apparently I don't have that collection or I used it all. Fun, used it all. I don't know if that's a concept I know how to do. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. We're going to get started. I will um, pop her video up or her layout up here so that you can see it and I'll be right back. So off camera, I gutted the navy blue floral piece and I then cut down the um, aqua colored cardstock and the white colored cardstock. Now, I don't know if you noticed in her original layout, she had some stamping around the edges. And here is where I kind of did my own thing and I hand stitched a border around the edges instead. So. I started out with enough strips to make a nine by nine square on here. And when I start putting them out here, I realize that it is too big. So first I just kind of spread them out in the order that I think they're gonna end up on the layout. And then I realized it's taking up way too much real estate on the layout. And that would have been okay, but it wasn't as close as I wanted to get to Michelle's layout. So I will pause the video for a minute and then I will remove one one inch strip and then I will trim the rest of them down to eight inches long. And in the end, I will have an eight inch square. So I don't know if you noticed when I was talking about the strips in the previous segment, that I um, scuffed up the edges of my photos. And the reason I did that here was to expose the white core of the photo paper. My photos are larger than Michelle's photos are in her layout. And so I felt like there really wasn't enough space for me to mat them. So that was my way of differentiation between the photos and my very colorful eight inch square. So, there was a small part of me that wanted to hand stitch those strips, but I didn't do it. Do you see that? I didn't do it. Now, um, Michelle used what looked like die cut letters from pattern paper or maybe even stamped letters for her title. And I chose to use the same word, love, from the chipboard um, pieces in this collection. Plus I added some hearts. Now the other thing you will notice that I do plop the word cat down there at the bottom from that random piece or set of thicker phrases that I showed you at the beginning. And that is end up ends up getting moved above the word love so that my title ends up being cat love. I really wish it said kitty love because I think that flows better, but 
I wanted to use that little piece of chipboard and I'm still gonna have bits and pieces of that left. Um, so I'll have to try to use that for another layout at another time. So now I'm just kind of digging through and getting the various little phrases and stuff taken care of for this layout. Another place where I deviate from Michelle's layout is I do add a label off camera and journal on it. Plus I added that succulent plant. All right, I have this layout completely finished. Everything is glued down. I stuck to the basics of Michelle's beautiful layout with her and her puppy and um, just kind of built around using the product that I have and um, the photos that I had on hand already printed out. Did use pictures of my kitty, which should not surprise anybody. And instead of putting cat down here, I ended up putting up here because her said puppy love. So I just said mine should say cat love. And then I used some phrase stickers come down here. And I also tucked in a label behind my succulent um, pot just for a little bit of journaling, added the date down here, and otherwise it is completely finished. Also, I used this Distress Stain in tumbled glass to put some ink around it. She looked like she had some splatters on hers. I just used this and the packaging technique to kind of get it on here in a similar fashion to add a little bit more color to the background. I am not a huge fan of white space, so putting the inks smushing on there basically filled that up for me, and I'm happy with the way this turned out. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe to my channel. It's because of you that my channel is doing as well well as it is, and I really appreciate each and every single one of you. If you have any comments or questions about this layout, please, please drop them below. Make sure you go to Michelle's YouTube channel, which will be linked below, and leave her some love. Watch some of her videos. She's got some really inspiring stuff on there for you to do, and I want to thank Michelle for allowing us to scrap lift her this week. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.